We're back 740 with In-Depth Today, and this morning we're focusing on COVID and kids. Okay, according to an alarming new study conducted by New York State, Pfizer's vaccine, while 48% effective at reducing hospitalizations in kids 5 to 11, is not very effective in preventing infection. Yeah, in fact, in December and January, it dropped sharply from 68% to just 12%. Oh. That's the effectiveness against infection. Mm -hmm. So what does it all mean for your kids, your family? Dr. Richard Besser is a pediatrician, the former acting director of the CDC and the president of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Dr. Besser, we mm -hmm. need to talk about this because mm -hmm. Uh, it's a good news, bad news story. Mm -hmm. On the one hand, it's keeping kids out of the hospital at mm -hmm. about 50% rate, but it's not preventing right. infection. So what are we supposed to make of this? Yeah, I mean, first, I, I would not use the term alarming. I would, I would use the, the term disappointing. And the, and the reason for that uh, is that it is still quite effective at preventing what we, can, we, we care most about, and that's severe illness hospitalization. Uh, thankfully, in these studies, there were, there were no children who, who died. If you look at the picture across the country, what we're seeing in just about every state are it continues to be dramatic declines in, in the rates of transmission. That's for a number of reasons. It has to do with the number of people who are vaccinated, and it has to do with how contagious the Omicron variant was and how much it, it, it spread. So, you know, as a pediatrician, as I talk to parents, you know, I, what I want to gauge is what is their comfort level with, with risk? Um, how uh, concerning is it if their child were to get this, meaning does their child have medical conditions that put them at, at increased risk? And what's going on in, in, in their particular community? So if you're in a community where the numbers are really, really low, um, as a parent, I would feel very comfortable that my child was protected against what I, can, what I care about most, and that's severe severe illness. Well, you know, if I'm in a community where there's a lot of transmission going on, uh, I might be be concerned enough to say, well, let's keep our masks on now. Okay, well, let's let's talk about masks for a second, because a lot of schools are dropping the mask mandate. They're doing it here in New York City as well. So if you were a parent given this data, would you decide to go masks on or off? Well, you know, I, I, I would look and see what's going on in, in my community. The, the new guidance from the CDC, I think, is right on target in terms of saying, what's happening in my community? Are the hospitals being, being stressed um, or, or, or not? Uh, are we seeing a lot of severe illness in our communities where people are being hospitalized? Uh, is there pressure? What's happening in, in terms of severe illness and what's happening in terms of cases? If I'm in a community where that's all looking good and it's looking low and my child is not at high risk, I would feel comfortable taking that mask off. And the, the reason for that is that, that masks have a cost to them as well. The children not being able to be children, being continually stressed, put the mask back on, keep away from, mm -hmm. from your friends. Don't do those things that children need to do for normal development. Those things have a cost to them. And the cost is worth it when, when you're in the midst of a, of a pandemic with rapid transmission. If you're in a setting where that's not the case, uh, then you want to make sure that any child who wants to wear a mask can, mm -hmm. any child who needs to wear a mask can, but that not every child is required to do so. Mm -hmm. All right, Dr. Besser, always good to get your perspective. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.